Here we have a infinite wire that's been bent into a corner. So it goes from infinity to here, down to infinity to here. We want to look at a point P, a distance D, from both of these bends, from kind of the closest approach of these two things. So we want to use the Biot-Savar law, which gives us, right, dB equals mu naught over 4 pi, IDS cross r hat over r squared, right? We're going to have to build this out of continuous pieces. So the pieces that we want, since it's a one-dimensional shape, is we want zero-dimensional little slices, and then we are going to draw an r vector from these to our point P. And then we also need to write consider this. So for right now, we want to only consider the horizontal wire because, right, we only have so much space on this board. So what we could want to do is we want to find the r vector from this because once we find r vector, we can then find r hat, we can then find r squared. If you remember from electric fields, right, r hat, r vector is equal to rx i hat plus ry j hat. So we have to figure out what we need to do in both of these directions. Well, in the j hat direction, in the y direction, all of these pieces, both of these pieces, have to go a distance d down. So we can write this as either d negative j hat or negative d times positive j hat. Mathematically, they're the same, and that's all that matters. What we want to do then is also define a coordinate system. So, right, this is j hat, this is i hat. And we need to define the handedness of this coordinate system. So with our right hands, right, is weird because we have a video, right, this direction is i hat, this direction is j hat, and then we can or cannot see that the thumb is pointing at me. So if the thumb is pointing at me, for me, that is out of the page positive. This will help. So if I go in the positive x direction for this slice, in order to get back to p, I have to go back negative. So this is going to be negative x in the i hat direction. And that's our r vector. So from this, we can then find r squared, x squared plus d squared. And we've run a little bit of space down here so we can get our r hat up here. Our r hat definition is r vector divided by the magnitude of r, right? This is for our horizontal contribution. So this is going to be, we just read out the uh, r vector. So we have negative x i hat minus d j hat. And then we divide by the square root of the r squared, x squared plus d squared. So now I have r squared, now I have r hat. I have to figure out still what ds vector is. So my ds vector is which direction the current is going for this horizontal section. So it's going in the positive i hat direction. And then what we need to figure for the ds is when I go from this side to this side of these little slices, what have I moved? And if there's a variable, right, is it the same variable? And you know, nicely enough, right, I am moving a tiny amount of x. So I can express that tiny amount in x as dx. So now that I have all of my pieces, I can write what my db is. So I have my mu naught over 4 pi. My i is just defined as i. My ds is dx positive i hat. And then I'm crossing it with r hat negative x i hat minus dj hat over square root x squared plus d squared. And then I have to divide by x squared plus d squared. So let's look at this cross product. Here I have plus i hat. So when I cross i hat with i hat, I get 0, nicely enough. i hat crossed with j hat is going to be k hat. And we'll get this negative sign out of or that comes along with us. So that I have mu naught i dx times negative d k hat and then I can distribute these two together to be right if I have my 4 pi x squared plus d squared to the so let's check this by doing the right hand rule right if I get 
uh, that it's going to go towards you. It's going to be negative. If I get my thumb goes towards me, it's going to be positive. So pause and see if you can get right, the right hand rule for which direction this should be. Okay, so the first step is that we have to use our right hands, and I might have to stand up for this. We'll see. So we have our IDS going in this direction. We have our R direction going this way. And then my thumb then points towards you. So it's negative K hat. So mathematically and through the right hand rule, we got the same answer. That's always nice. And so that's our DB. But if we take the integral of this, then that will give us our magnetic field. So we just have to find the limits of integration for this. So the limits of integration is the smallest value of x and the largest value of x. Smallest value of x is going to be negative infinity. Largest value of x is going to be d. So we are going to nicely enough just look this up in a table. We can pull out mu naught i over 4 pi. We can pull out the negative k hat. And what we are left with is... Uh, x over d square root of d squared plus x squared. And then we have to evaluate it from negative infinity to d. So, right, using another marker that kind of looks, <laughs> that goes through my face a little bit better, uh, we can then write this whole thing now. So this part is going to be then d, so we have d over d times square root of d squared plus d squared is going to give me 2d squared minus, and then I have negative infinity over d times, and then just to save ourselves a little bit of time, d squared plus infinity squared is just going to be infinity squared. So from this we get a good amount of cancellation, d and d will cancel. And I know we might feel squeamish about this, but infinity and the square root of infinity squared is going to cancel as well. So then we get mu naught i over 4 pi negative k hat. And so then I have 1 over square root 2d squared minus negative 1, so I can always call that plus 1, over d. So I can recognize that my square root of 2d squared can be rewritten as d times square root of 2. And so then I can get an answer for that. So this is my b for the horizontal direction. And I can do a little bit more, um, but not too much. So we can kind of simplify it a tiny bit by, saying, by pulling out the d. pull out the d here, and then we have 1 over root 2 plus 1. So what about the vertical section? Well, the vertical section our r vector is going to be very similar. In the x direction, I have to go negative d in the i hat direction for all different slices. And then I have, for the y direction, have to go minus yj hat. So then I have my r squared is going to be d squared plus y squared. My r hat is going to be negative di hat minus yj hat over the square root of d squared plus y squared. And then my ds is going to be dy in the negative j hat. So... If I take a look through all of this, right, then pause the video, see if using these ideas and using the steps, see if you can find what B in the vertical is. Okay, so after we did all that, what we hopefully should have gotten for B in the vertical was pretty much the same as this. In fact, exactly the same as this, mu naught i over 4 pi d negative k hat, 1 plus 1 over root 2. And so then our b total, as we combine this and as we combine this,
will be just two of this. So we can do mu naught i over four pi d negative k hat, and then we can do two over root two plus two. So that's what we want to do, right? We want to make sure that we have a sketch, a good coordinate system, and then do all of our organized steps, get our right cross product going, and then we just have a little bit of math left. Hopefully you got a little bit of practice with this one yourself.